The Federal Reserve Bank just made an announcement, an emergency decision, which will fundamentally change banking in America forever. And every time there is a new eruption somewhere, the Fed will try to put the flames out with generous injections of fresh liquidity. Michael Snyder reports, did you think that the Federal Reserve was just going to stand by and watch the U.S. banking system completely collapse? In response to the stunning failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, the Federal Reserve announced a rescue plan on Sunday evening that's going to radically change banking in America forever. All deposits at Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank will be fully guaranteed and will be available today, Monday. Of course, the Federal Reserve can't just make an exception for these two banks if they're going to do this for them, which means that they are going to have to do it for everyone else too. So what this means is that from this point forward, the Federal Reserve is essentially promising to guarantee every bank account in America, considering the fact that more than $19 trillion is deposited with U.S. banks, that's quite a promise to make. I want to show you that I'm not exaggerating one bit. The following is the announcement about this new plan that was just posted on the official website of the Federal Reserve. To support American businesses and households, the Federal Reserve Board on Sunday announced it will make available additional funding to uh, eligible depository institutions to help assure banks have the ability to meet the needs of all their depositors. This action will bolster the capacity of the banking system to safeguard deposits and ensure the ongoing provision of money and credit to the economy. The Federal Reserve is preparing to address any liquidity pressures that, that may arise. The additional funding will be made available through the creation of a new Bank Term Funding Program, BTFP, offering loans of up to one year in length to banks, savings associations, credit unions, and other eligible depository institutions pledging U.S. Treasuries, agency debt and mortgage-backed securities, and other qualifying assets as collateral. These assets will be valued at par. The BTFP will be an additional source of liquidity against high-quality securities, eliminating any institution's need to quickly sell the securities in time of stress. With approval of the Treasury Secretary, the Department of the Treasury will make available up to $25 billion from the Exchange Stabilization Fund as a backstop for the BTFP, the Federal Reserve does not anticipate that it will be necessary to draw on these backstop funds. After receiving a recommendation from the boards of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, and the Federal Reserve, Treasury Secretary Yellen, after consultation with the President, approved actions to enable the FDIC to complete its resolutions of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank in a manner that fully protects all depositors both insured and uninsured. These actions will reduce stress across the financial system, support financial stability, and minimize any impact on businesses, households, taxpayers, and the broader economy. The board is carefully monitoring developments in financial markets. The capital and liquidity position of the U.S. banking system are strong, and the U.S. financial system is resilient. Depository institutions may obtain liquidity against a wide range of collateral through the discount window, which remains open and available. In addition, the discount window will apply the same margins used for the securities eligible for the BTFP, further increasing lendable value at the window. The board is closely monitoring conditions across the financial system and is prepared to use its full range of tools to support households and businesses and will take additional steps as appropriate. So please don't just skim those paragraphs. Take the time to read them in detail because what the Fed just did literally changes everything. From now on, nobody will have to worry that their bank will fail and the Fed has decided to completely end the war against inflation. If the technical language confuses you, uh, here is Zero Hedge's translation. Translation, the Fed's hiking cycle is dead and buried, and here comes the next round of massive liquidity injections. It also means that the Fed, Treasury, and FDIC have just experienced the most devastating humiliation in recent history. Just four days ago, Powell was telling Congress he could he could hike 50 base, BPS base points 
And here we're now using taxpayer funds to bail out banks that have collapsed because they could not even handle 4.75% interest and somehow the Fed has no idea. That analysis is right on the money. I warned you that our system could not handle higher interest rates and higher rates were directly related to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. So there won't be any more rate hikes. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Fed starts cutting rates very soon. In addition, all of the fresh money that the Fed will be injecting into the financial system now will be highly inflationary. We're being told that the Fed's plan won't cost taxpayers a dime, but the truth is that, that inflation is a tax on all of us. So the financial community may be praising this extraordinary intervention but the Fed, by the Fed, but there will inevitably be a very high price to pay for spraying money around so recklessly. And uh, Disclosed TV tweets just in, Fed's considered extraordinary intervention to safeguard all uninsured deposits at Silicon Valley Bank from a Washington Post report. But what other choice did the Fed have? As I repeatedly warned my readers, our fundamentally flawed system simply cannot survive without artificial support. And as Bill Ackman, the billionaire, noted, if the Fed had just stood by and done nothing, we would have been facing a nightmare scenario as early as next week. Over the past several days, we really did come to the brink of the abyss, but now the Federal Reserve has come charging to the rescue, and so everything is okay, right? I wish that was actually true. As a result of the Fed's reckless rate hiking strategy, U.S. banks are now sitting on $620 billion of unrealized losses. That is billion with a B, and that is a ticking time bomb that is not going to go away anytime soon. Meanwhile, the housing bubble is imploding, and we're heading into the worst commercial real estate crisis in all of U.S. history, and now faith in the U.S. banking system has been greatly shaken. This crisis is not even close to over. And every time there is a new eruption somewhere, the Fed will try to put the flames out with generous injections of fresh liquidity. Virtually everyone applauds when the Fed starts spraying money around, but by now all of us should realize that this, this story is not going to have a happy ending. This is by Michael Snyder, about the author. My name is Michael. My brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I have written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. And any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, which he gave, to, uh, which he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you've not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. And this is by Michael Snyder on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.